My name is Danny Shar. I teach international affairs in Latin American and Caribbean studies at the City University of New York. I think it's important right now to stand in solidarity with the Uhuru movement, with the Mali, Yeshatilla, and the rest of the anti-imperialist organizers. This is a classic um, scare tactics. This is McCarthyism 2.0. They don't want any of us to speak up in an articulate anti-imperialist way to expose these warmongers and these white supremacists and their designs uh, in Ukraine. This is not a Ukraine-Russia war. We have to uh, exercise language liberation and call things by their proper names. This is a U.S.-NATO proxy war on Russia. This has been the full uh, scale encirclement uh, of Russia because Russia has its own geopolitical interests and agenda and this is something that US imperialism will never accept just like US imperialism will never accept the sovereignty uh, or the self-determination of the people of uh, Palestine so as billions and billions uh, at this point we're in excess of 250 billion dollars that US Congress has sent for this proxy war against uh, Russia with the Ukrainian people trapped in the middle and Biden has the gall now, in addition to the $4 billion that we taxpayers are forced to send, talk about taxation without representation, forced to send every year to Zionism, to Israel, a genocidal entity. In addition, Biden just sent another $16 billion. So, in the words of the immortal Tupac, they always have money for war, but they can't feed the poor so as academics, as intellectuals, as free thinkers, as journalists, as anti-imperialists, we have to stand in solidarity with the Uhuru movement.